My Lord, so I thank the noble Lord, the Minister, for his response and everyone who's taken part in this um, now getting fairly late night, but I think very uh, detailed and indeed forensic uh, examination of this part of the bill and the proposed amendments. Um, I don't think I can add to the um, uh, debate on Amendment 60 uh, in terms of the resources of the FSA, except I think um, we could not possibly have had a better team of people or who've already commented on that. Uh, and I think their concerns really should be heard and listened to. Um, what the Noble Lord the Minister said on the precautionary principle, I think it's possible that the word proportionate was in the description, uh, carrying a lot of weight. And the question is perhaps whether we're talking about proportionate to risk or proportionate to the impacts on potential profits. But I nonetheless thank the Noble Lord the Minister for his reassurance about the precautionary principle, and I should perhaps warn him in advance that I suspect I may be quoting them, those words back to him at points in the future. Um, in terms of the, um, particularly my amendments, um, uh, particularly 58 to start off with, um, about traceability, as the Noble Lord the Minister was speaking, I was thinking about a small independent uh, baker who I happen to know based in Nottingham, very innovative, doing amazing, exciting work. And I don't know for a fact, I haven't discussed it with her, but I think I can take a reasonable guess that she would be very keen to ensure that she didn't end up with any gene edited crops in her products. Um, now, she's going to want to make sure that that's the case. That, so she can keep to check on these things. Um, and you know, we need the traceability because if things start to go wrong, we need to be able to trace where they are going wrong. And that traceability, I think, is just such a crucial matter. So I think this is something that um, it is rather late. I think it's something we're going to come back to. Um, I'm not, I think the Labour Lord, Lord Rooker, is so far much more expert in this whole issue of skeleton bill than I am that I'm not going to attempt to respond to it except to note that the Noble Lord is, of course, reacting to a highly respected independent committee of your Lordship's House in what, what is being said. Um, so I suspect, uh, particularly in 57 and 58, these are issues we may well be coming back to, but in the meantime, I beg leave to withdraw Amendment 57.